Hello there. Let's learn about the high pressure casting process in Inspire Cast. We'll learn to balance the need to fill the mold quickly enough to prevent premature solidification with the need to fill the mold slowly enough to prevent air mixing with the material, causing porosity in the finished part. To begin, let's click Open Model and browse for the tutorial models included with Inspire Cast. The default location is Program Files, Altair, the release number, Tutorial Models. Select Handle.xb for this exercise. Now we'll designate our casting part. Next, we'll set the material to aluminum alloy A357 with a temperature of 715 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to add a gate. We'll create a rectangular gate with a width of 25 millimeters and height of 4 millimeters. Next, we need a mold. We'll use steel H11 as our mold's material and use the default temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. We'll use the basic setup for this trial and set our initial velocity to 35,000 millimeters per second. Now we'll run a filling and solidification analysis. This can take a couple minutes, so we'll skip the wait time. When the analysis is complete, we'll click the green flag and view the data. We have a little porosity in the finished product. We can mitigate this by adjusting the size, shape, and placement of the inlet. Now let's open the production model and run a high-pressure simulation. We'll click Open Model and select HandleFold.xb. Before we do anything else, we'll need to designate our casting parts. We'll use the same settings as in the previous model. Next, we'll designate the filling system, which is pre-designed for this model. We also need to check that the model is oriented to gravity. Next, we need to add a shot sleeve. We'll set the diameter to 50 mm and the length to 200 mm. We'll use the default settings for the piston velocity control. You may have noticed that the basic setup icon has changed to high pressure. We can use the default high pressure parameters when we run the analysis. Now we'll create a mold using steel H11 at 150 degrees Celsius. We can run the analysis now. We'll set the average thickness to 3.06039 mm and run a filling and a solidification analysis. We'll skip the waiting again. When the analysis is complete, we'll review the results. The flow front animation illustrates where air may be mixing with the material to produce porosity. We can adjust the shot sleeve's piston velocity plot to mitigate this issue. The last air result will help us decide where to place overflow components to minimize any trapped air in the finished part. The porosity result indicates areas of potential structural weakness. We can minimize porosity with the tools available in Inspire Cast, like cooling lines or squeeze pins. Experiment with different configurations to see which yields the best results. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on getting the most out of your Altair products.